This is how I imagined December would be like in New York. Two months after our end of September 2019 stint in New York, here we are again taking a long flight from Manila, headed for, you guessed it right. This time, we will be staying in Tribeca, an acronym for Triangle Below Canal Street in Lower Manhattan, reputedly the trendiest, if not the most expensive part of New York's real estate scene. The Four Seasons Hotel New York downtown is in the heart of it. We have been blessed with this view of 9-11's Ground Zero, where the Oculus is, the World Trade Center's transportation hub with train station and shopping mall. As we are here in the next 10 days, we leisurely made use of our time to just chill and not burden ourselves too much into covering more areas. Besides, the cold weather prevented us from doing so. When it is not too cold, we explore nearby areas on foot, visiting supermarkets, just for the feel of it, or whatever meets the eye. We particularly loved the specialty shops carrying children's items that may suit our first granddaughter. The Four Seasons Concierge recommends the best restaurants in the city and makes the reservations with utmost efficiency. Very commendable. Zuma, a contemporary Japanese restaurant, authentic but not traditional, is truly a gustatory feast. With beef cooked to perfection and other culinary delights, I lost count of how many sake shots I had.
Today, we went to see the lighted Christmas tree at the Rockefeller Center. We went to the Oculus at the World Trade Center and found it very nice, especially this Christmas season. New York City hotels are full to the brim in this season. With some booking miscalculations, we have to spend one night in another hotel. Four Seasons management, however, made sure we are accommodated well. We were endorsed to the Beekman in Nassau Street, a few blocks from Four Seasons. A New York staple since 1761, this hotel has got lots of history. Fully renovated, the Big Man at Thompson Hotel opens in 2016. Popular in New York's nightlife scene is the Temple Court, visible as we perched out down below on the nine-story Victorian-era atrium. The bar room is a favorite watering hole for hip New Yorkers. Now we're back to the Four Seasons Hotel downtown, in the same room we were previously booked. There is a blizzard today. The news has it that flights were cancelled on all New York City airports. We were glad we can enjoy our hotel's amenities somehow. Starting with this heated indoor lap pool. Surrounded by floor to ceiling windows, this 23 meter pool is an urban oasis in this very cold weather. It's like swimming among the skyscrapers in the middle of Tribeca. And while the snow falls outside, I soak in this watery bliss. When it comes to culinary variety and quality, New York is on top of the list. Here are some that we tried. Kuruma Sushi on 47th Street, established in 1977, is a sushi bar 
serving sashimi and set omakase menus in a traditional Japanese setting. This is as authentic as it gets. We loved the pizza napolitana from Rosso Pomodoro inside the Oculus. We can't forget the Four Seasons room service menus. Neither is this pecking duck from Chinatown. We also tried steak and burgers from cut by celebrity chef Wolfgang Pak at the Four Seasons. The Greek restaurant Milos at the Hudson Yard with the view of this architectural masterpiece, The Vessel. Fresh seafood everyone. Can't help but notice these hand-painted plates used here. These are Bernardo plates from Le Mans, a place in southwest France I happen to travel, known for its porcelain. We just heard the chef conversing with us. Commendable is their excellent wine pairing. Madison Square Garden at the Lexus Lounge one more time, starting with Nile Rogers and Chic. And the main feature, the iconic chair.
New York is a shopping haven that every woman would love to be in, especially in the Christmas season. It's not a bad idea to spoil them once this Christmas. He had the chance to be invited to view Louis Vuitton's exclusive private collection, including this Elvis rare timepiece, which a friend of mine got. We thank God for all the blessings. After all, it's his birthday we're celebrating a few days from now. It has been a wonderful New York trip. We will have time to reminisce in this long flight back to Manila. Over cocktails in the plane's lounge, we talk about beautiful memories of our fall and winter trip. New York is a playground we all love to be in. As they say, if the queen is happy, there is peace in the kingdom. Her smile says it all.